This bag right here is a hand warmer. So if you ever found yourself stuck in the mountains and you had no heat at all, no fire, nothing, you need to stay warm for just 10 minutes longer until that rescue helicopter came. You pulled this out and you pressed the button, it would heat up and stay warm for about 30, 40 minutes or so. Well, what if we took that and made a sculpture out of it? Now to make liquid sculptures, you're going to need one of these. It's a reusable hand warmer and it's full of sodium acetate, which is the main chemical we're going to be using today. So what you need to do is go to any outdoor store or camping store, or just click the link in the sidebar and you can get one of these for yourself. I started off by taking four packets of the hand warmer, cutting them up and pouring them into a bowl. Now I'm going to transfer them into a bottle, that way I can pour it out easier for the experiments. Once you're done with that, to prepare for the experiment, you need one of the sodium acetate crystals that you can get from a used hand warmer. You'll need a regular plate or a bowl, and also the bottle that we just made. First things first, put the crystal on the plate or bowl, and then slowly pour the liquid on top of it. Now the crystal is going to act as a catalyst and turn the rest of the liquid into a solid as well. This happens because all it takes is a few molecules difference to change the liquid into a solid because it's already below its freezing point. When you're all done, you should have a masterpiece. Check mine out. I made Atlas. What, you don't see it? Another great thing about this is that you can actually restore it into a liquid. It's pretty easy. Take the sculpture you made, or the crystallized sodium acetate, and put it on the stove top. Get it nice and hot, and shake it around a little bit. It'll continue to dissolve until it's entirely back into a liquid form. This process might take a little while. Once you're done, pour it back into the bottle, and stick it in the fridge to cool for about 15 minutes. Now you can use it again. We're going to try one more experiment here. I poured it out all over this board here, and I sprinkled crystals all over the place. And you can see as it all reacts at once, forming a solid. You now have a snazzy piece of modern art to hang on your wall. Eat your heart out, Picasso. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe, and you can also check out more episodes right here.